It's an issue which unites the three main party leaders. They disagree with the verdict of Parliament's expenses watchdog Ipsa that MPs should be given a bumper pay rise. The Treasury Minister, who's overseen pay squeezes across the rest of the public sector, agrees that it would be a mistake. I think most people will find it utterly incomprehensible that at a time of pay restraint for public, the public sector, at a time of further uh, squeezes on government spending, that Ipsa should be uh, recommending if that's what they do. Uh, I think it would be wholly inappropriate. Currently, an MP earns a basic salary of £66,396. Ipsa says that should go up to 74000 an increase of 11% after the next election. But in return, MPs' pensions would be less generous and there'd be cuts to a number of other allowances. It all started with the duck houses and the second homes of the expenses scandal in 2009. Decisions over MPs' pay were taken out of the hands of politicians. Privately, many MPs disagree with their leaders and want a pay rise, so their salaries keep pace with other professions. But few are keen to say so in public. Alan Sodi, BBC News.